Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Non Rosanna. I'm Rosanna. Today is Whip Weekend number four and some finished objects. It has been a crazy week. We got back from our vacation last Friday, so it's been almost a week that I'm doing this Thursday morning. Um, we've gone nonstop. So Friday we got home, or Thursday night we got home. Friday, my husband had the day off, so we did some laundry and basically relaxed from traveling, which is crazy because we went there to relax. So on Friday, we just did the laundry and, you know, watched TV and did not much. And then on Saturday, my daughter Amanda and my granddaughter Paige came over and Paige and I always do activities when she comes over. My son-in-law works every second Saturday, so it's awesome that they come and spend the day with me on Saturdays. So we made some more stitch markers. So get them up close for you. So we did a set of flowers. And then her favorite is the peace sign. So we did some peace signs. And then we did some inspirational ones. Don't know if you can see them or not. Oh, they're turning up pretty good. So we did that. And she just loves making them. But the first one she made went home with her. Always the first one goes home with her. It's hilarious. I don't know where she puts them all, but she takes one home every time. So that was my Saturday. And Saturday night, my husband and I just watched hockey on TV. Then Sunday, I if you watched my 23 things you don't know about me. I play baseball and the teams were picked and I got on a wonderful team with great women. So we had our first practice in the freezing cold. So I had sweatshirt, sweatpants and a jacket on. So I did that Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon, my parents came over because we were away for Easter. So we did a barbecue with my parents. So that day was completely gone. And then Monday, grocery shop, you know, the regular chores around the house, cleaning, tidying, dusting. It's amazing how much dust settles when you're not at home for a week. And Tuesday, I went bowling. I joined a bowling league this year and I had so much fun doing it. As I've just retired, I wanted to keep myself busy. And so I joined the league and I'm really enjoying that. But it was our final bowling uh, day for this year. So we'll start again in September. And on Wednesday, I had my nine-month-old grandson over, and I babysat while his mom went to the office for the day. And then last night, Wednesday night, we um, had a bowling banquet, which was awesome. Do you know why? I haven't been out in the evenings with people in two and a half years, so it was fun. It was almost 100 women in a banquet hall. We had dinner. We had some awards. And I won most improved. That's not saying much because when I started, I got mostly gutter balls. But um, we had so much fun last night. And it was a late night. We didn't get home till 11 o'clock, which um, is past my bedtime. <laughs> so that's what we did this week. I didn't get much done crocheting. But what I did get done, I uh, really enjoyed doing. The first thing I did was, like I said, my granddaughter was older. And she said, oh, what are you knitting, Nonna? And I said, oh, I'm just practicing knitting because I'm just learning how to do it. And she goes, oh, is that a washcloth? And I said, yeah, it's for dishes. She goes, oh, do you make them for the bath time? And I said, yes. So we went upstairs, went through the cotton. She picked her cotton out that she wanted, but she wanted a round bath cloth. So, and she forgot it. So I have it here to show you. So I just did that while they were here, just a little round bath cloth. And um, I've got enough to make another one. So I'm going to make her another one of those. And then my book that I just got, which I love, we made a second animal and it was the nightingale. And I made it out of Mary Maxim Starlet Worsted Weight yarn. It is so soft and fairly inexpensive. So that's great. So it is a worsted four. There's approximately 180 yards, which I used all of it. And um, the color I used, I can't see it, it's underneath, it's called soft blue. And my granddaughter's very particular, she didn't want yellow, she wanted pink. So this is my nightingale that I made. It is so cute, I love the way the wings look. And it's basically done in the round. 
So I'm so happy with this too. And she loves it. I sent her a picture of it. So she wants to come back on Saturday so she can get it. And then she'll pick out her next thing that she wants. But I still am going to make the snake for uh, a wind blocker for my daughter's door. But I really don't have to worry about that because it's not till winter time. And one of my subscribers said that I should add something other than just the plain stuffing. So I thought what I'd do is get some pantyhose and put some rice in the pantyhose so it gives it some weight so it will hold up against the door better. And I thought, what a great idea. So that's what I'm going to do. And my next and my other only finished product project, sorry, is the baby blanket I was making. Uh, my stepdaughter um, has the nine month old and she, I made a blanket for her before the baby was born. And now that's the only blanket he will fall asleep with because I made it out of Karen Simply Soft. And there were holes in it, and it was the 1960s baby blanket, and uh, he just loves it. So she asked me if I could make another one. So basically, that's what I've been working on the whole week. And I did get completed, and we're going over there today. So I'll just show you the blanket. So he just loves the holes. And while he was here yesterday, he fell asleep. And his little fingers just go through the holes and he just massages the yarn. So I'm not a big fan of Karen Simply Soft, but he loves it. So I went out uh, actually on Saturday, got the yarn, got three. And how much is it? I believe it's 300 yards. 315 yards in each ball. I use three balls. So this is over 900 yards. So he'll get that tonight. We're heading over there tonight because it's our other grandson's seventh birthday. So he will get his Minecraft blanket tonight. And um, I'm excited to give that to him. And those are my finished objects. Not many. Today being Thursday, but you'll see this on Friday. After I finish this video and upload it, I am going to sit down on the couch and just crochet and just relax. I deserve that. And uh, my whips for this week are, I have not touched my shawl that I started in Jamaica and I did not touch the Moroccan blanket. I finished that blanket for the baby. So that was great. I did do for my wheelchair lapgan, I did do probably another four and a half inches of it. So that's coming along. It's just something I do. When I have nothing else to do, but I always have something to do. So I try and squeeze it in. The one thing I didn't tell you, when we were in Jamaica, I had started cross stitch. I had never done it before. Well, I've dabbled kind of. So I started it. I didn't realize how long it would take. So this is for my granddaughter. She chose it and I just got it off eBay and it's a stamped cross stitch. And that's what it's going to look like when it's done. So I did a few hours on the beach. And all the uh, black you can see and the colors around here is what I did. And I did that on the beach. So I'm looking forward to finishing this, which is going to take me forever, I believe. It's quite large. It's that big. But it's something I find this relaxing also. So my husband thinks I'm crazy starting so many projects, but I like to keep going and doing different things and not get bored with the same thing. So I like to switch back and forth. I also do paint by numbers, which I do every morning when I get up. I'm a very early riser. Sometimes I'm up at 4.30, sometimes I'm up at 5.30. And I come down, I have my coffee, and I do some paint by numbers, and I do some diamond painting. Actually, I've got one right here on the other side of the dining room table here. So that's the diamond painting I'm working on right now. I've just got some of the top to finish. And all these crafts I find relaxing and it gives me something to do. I just, I'm not a person that can sit around and do nothing. So I'm always doing something. And then the next crochet project that I'm working on is the summer top. And I made the other one in beige and now I'm doing, that's the back side of it. I just started. I started that yesterday afternoon after the baby left before I went to my banquet. So that I'm hoping will get done in the next week or two. It's such a simple pattern and I just love doing it. And I will put the link 
of the YouTube channel. I can't remember her name right now. I will put that in the uh, listings below. So I'm still working on that. And I believe that's it. So this weekend we have no plans whatsoever. Um, a birthday party, but that's only going to be an hour. We're going to pop in and watch the kids in the jump, jumpy room, the playroom that uh, my uh, my stepdaughter has rented out for the birthday party. So we're just going to pop in there. And that's it for the weekend. So I'm hoping to get a lot of crocheting done. I'd love to get this top done, but I don't think that's going to happen. And that's it for this week. So thank you very much for joining me and hope you come back. If you can like, subscribe, comment, that would be wonderful. And that's it for now. Bye.